So I'm in what feels like a unique position. I'm in LA in a cheap hotel on Venice Beach to do a very important movie trivia event for some very important movie trivia people. And although I do this pretty regularly now, and I'm good at it, and I feel pretty good about how good I am at it, I'll never stop thinking about how weird it is that this is my career now. I mean, professional trivia host isn't a job that a lot of people hold, even now, and it's not the easiest job. I mean, it's far from hard comparatively. I've worked construction, I've been a busboy, I've been yelled at by idiots in more lines of work than I care to think about, and I'm aware that being white and male and able-bodied and American means that I'm spared the worst of what that work can mean for people. But the fact that I get to do this for a living is, in its way, kind of glamorous. I feel cool in my way. Life is pretty good. I often say I would never have chosen this life for myself. But now that I'm here, I wake up every morning, I think, I can do this. And for a long time in my life, like well into my 40s, I didn't have that. I was a mouthy, miserable temp, bouncing from job to job and place to place and not feeling comfortable in my own skin. Now I have a company, I have employees, I have a wife, I have friends. People buy me plane tickets to fly across the country to tell them how smart I am. And I do, and apparently I'm good at it. I'm 100% aware of how surreal that is, but you know, most people have a surreal path through their lives. Most people don't spend their lives going from base to base in a methodical way. If previous generations are to be believed, the standard path through one's life was pretty straightforward. You got to college, you got a job, you paired off with the first person you made out with, and you got a house somewhere with a comfy chair. And you got older. That seems quaint now. I know people still do that with their lives, but no one I know does that. And they go to college, or not. They try a few jobs, they try a few more jobs. Some of them last a few weeks, some a few months, or even a year or three, but everyone keeps their resumes updated all the time because everyone I know always has their head on a swivel. Because you have to. Sometimes, persistence pays. I've been hosting trivia for 13 years, and I've been doing it professionally for about eight or so. It's paying off. But sometimes, persistence feels Sisyphean. It's like throwing good energy after bad. Do what makes you happy is a bit of a lie. The better motto, even though it's a little less sexy, is do what's working. It's all about monitoring the pain to pleasure ratio. If you can do something and then wake up the next morning and feel like, you know what, I can do that again today, and it covers your expenses, then you're good. Right now, I have this. I'm deeply grateful. I get to sit under a palm tree and say things. I get to go to a studio in Culver City and talk with movie people about trivia. I'm more than a little stoked about that. Find the thing that works for you. Do that.